Time travel is a popular topic, and the idea that we might be able to visit the past or the future keeps fascinating scientists just as much as the public. So let's count down five objects that could prove time travel exists. Father Pellegrino Inetti greeted Father Brun one afternoon in the early 1960s. The two men had just met for the first time the day before during a ferry ride across Venice's Grand Canal. During their short conversation, Father Inetti had said something that stuck in Father Brun's mind. The two, who were both experts on ancient languages, were talking about scriptural interpretation, when Father Inetti remarked there existed a machine that could answer all their questions. Father Brun was puzzled about what kind of machine could do such a thing, and resolved to bring it up again with Father Inetti in the day's meeting. When asked about it, Father Inetti described a device he called a chronovisor, that looked a bit like a television. Instead of receiving broadcasts from local transmission stations, the chronovisor could tune into the past to allow the viewer to see and hear events that had occurred years or even centuries earlier. Father Anetti told Brun that the machine worked by detecting all sights and sounds that humanity had made that still floats through space. Father Brun wanted to know if Father Anetti and his collaborators had been able to see the crucifixion of Christ. Anetti replied, We saw everything. What Father Anetti was describing to Brun was a type of time machine. However, it's unlike the fictional devices found in most popular books, TV shows, and movies that transport people into the future or past. This type of machine would bring pictures and sounds from the past into the present. Time machines that transport people seem far beyond anything our technology can currently build. But what about a device that deals with images and sounds? To a certain degree, we actually use versions of chronovisors every day. A security camera hooked to a video recorder allows us to see into the past. Large telescopes also act as chronovisors. The distant galaxies we view through these devices do not actually look like they are today, but as they appeared when the light left them millions or perhaps billions of years ago. A piece of evidence that Father Inetti released was a picture of Christ's face on the cross, apparently photographed through the chronovisor. The photo shows the face of a bearded man with upturned eyes. However, it wasn't long before someone noticed that the picture was identical to one sold at the Sanctuary of Merciful Love in Italy. After this revelation, Father Inetti said little more about the photograph and the chronovisor. He died in 1994. The world has its fair share of strange experiments, but one of the more bizarre accounts involves the supposed attempt of the Navy to develop a technology that could make an entire ship invisible to the naked eye. But these experiments had some unintended consequences that led to the project being shut down and buried, until a man who claimed to have worked on the project decided to talk. A man named Al Bilek is a central figure in these stories, and his account has been ridiculed as simply being contrived nonsense. But the historical context and his detailed narrative are intriguing. Two separate sets of bizarre events make up the Philadelphia Experiment. Both revolve around a Navy destroyer escort, the USS Eldridge, with the events taking place on two separate days in the summer and fall of 1943. In the first experiment, an alleged method of electrical field manipulation allowed the USS Eldridge to be rendered invisible on July the 23rd, 1943 in the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard. The second rumored experiment was the teleportation and small-scale time travel of the USS Eldridge from the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard to Norfolk, Virginia on October the 28th, 1943. Prior to the mid-1950s, no rumors of bizarre activity surrounded any teleportation or invisibility experiments in North America during the 1940s let alone in the area surrounding Philadelphia. A Russian research team claimed to have found a one-inch screw embedded inside a rock that's over 300 million years old. They say the screw is the remains of an ancient form of technology that proves aliens visited Earth millions of years ago. However, scientists say the screw is nothing more than a fossilized sea creature called a crinoid. The Russian team were investigating the remains of a meteorite in the Kaluga region of Russia in the 1990s when they came across the strange object. A paleontological analysis was carried out, which revealed the stone was formed between 300 and 320 million years ago. The team also claimed that an x-ray of the stone shows another screw is present inside. However, they haven't allowed international experts to examine the object, nor have they revealed what the screw is made of. Since the initial finding, much debate has surrounded the discovery. 
with scientists laughing at the suggestion that it reflects an ancient screw, and suggesting there is a much less exciting explanation. Many scientists who have examined photographic evidence of the object say there is a more earthly answer to this phenomenon. The screw is actually the fossilized remains of an ancient sea creature known as a crinoid. They are a species of marine animal that are believed to have evolved around 350 million years ago. They are characterized by a mouth on the top surface that's surrounded by feeding arms. Today there's around 600 crinoid species, but they were much more abundant and diverse in the past. Over the years geologists have found countless fossils representing whole crinoids or their segments, some of which do resemble screws. Scientists have stated that the screw-like shape seen in fossil samples may be the reverse shape of the creature, which dissolved while the rock was shaped around it. Many have pointed out that lots of out of place artifacts have been reported, such as nails or even tools embedded in ancient stone. Some of these reports are misinterpretations of natural formations, with some saying it would be great to think we could find such ancient evidence of a spaceship visiting us long ago. But we have to question whether extraterrestrial spacecraft builders would use screws in the construction of their craft. Lighting the fire during a cold winter evening, a Russian man found a rail-shaped metal detail, which was pressed in one of the pieces of coal that the man used to heat his home. Mesmerized by his discovery, the responsible man decided to seek help from the scientist. After the metal object was studied by the leading experts, the man was shocked to learn about the assumed age of his discovery. The metal detail was supposedly 300 million years old, and yet the scientist suggested it was not created by nature, but was rather manufactured by someone. The question of who might have made an aluminium gear in the dawn of time remains unanswered. According to Tess, the object is composed of extremely pure aluminium, ranging from 96 to 98%, and has an addition of 2 to 4% magnesium. This composition is even more surprising according to scholars, as highly pure aluminium is something very hard to find. Most alloys contain magnesium, silicon, copper and titanium, but in a percentage of around 10%. This actually means that the object we're discussing has a chemical composition that is not common in our time, and even less in the past and is something incredibly hard to be found by itself in nature. Scientists state that pure aluminium is increasing prone to oxidation, which adds to the creation of a special layer that actually protects it from corrosion. This makes it possible to endure extremely high pressures and heat and other severe natural conditions making it a unique item. The discovery points towards the resemblance with similar shaped tooth metal bars, artificially created today, but it also looks similar to parts that are often used in microscopes and various technical and electronic devices. It was also found that the object contains from 28% to 75% of carbon. This helped to reaffirm the age of the object placing it 300 million years ago. Scientists state that it was difficult to believe that such an artifact could be the regular shape of a tooth wheel, composed out of six identical teeth, making the natural formation theory improbable. It's not that improbable to believe the Earth was inhabited millions of years before we came into existence. There is a possibility that advanced civilizations populated the Earth in a very remote past, as there are many pieces of evidence pointing towards this assumption. Today, finding a strange artifact embedded in coal is a relatively common occurrence. The first of such discoveries was made way back in 1851, when workers in one of the mines in Massachusetts extracted a zinc-silver alloy, embedded in a kind of vase inside a block of undeveloped coal, dating from the Cambrian era about 500 million years ago. 61 years later, American scientists in Oklahoma discovered an iron pot that was pressed into a lump of coal which dated back 312 million years ago. Further tests need to be performed to understand and explain the origin of the 300 million year old artifact. In 1935, a wing commander with Britain's Royal Air Force named Sir Victor Goodard flew his open cockpit biplane from Scotland to England on a weekend leave. On the way he passed over Drem Airfield near Edinburgh, which had been constructed during World War I. The tarmac and four hangars were in despair and barbed wire divided the field into numerous pastures filled with grazing cattle. Returning home a day later, Goddard ran into a violent storm and lost control of his plane. When he finally recovered from a downward spiral he was just several feet from a stony beach. As he climbed back up through the rain and fog the sky suddenly filled with sunlight. 
Below him was the Drem airfield. Only the farm had disappeared and the hangars were no longer in despair. At the end of the restored tarmac stood four bright yellow planes. One an unfamiliar monoplane. These were surrounded by mechanics in blue overalls. Notable to Goddard since RF mechanics only ever wore brown. So could Goddard who was a senior commander in the Royal Air Force been confused about his location? Or had he travelled forward in time? So that was 5 objects that could prove time travel exists. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.